kind of nervous, kind of excited for this one. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I have started a challenge which is named the 75 Soft Challenge. 75 Soft is a little bit like 75 Hard but easier. So I have seen the 75 Hard Challenge all over the place. I've seen it for quite a few years. It's been, it's been out there for a long time. And it's something that I always thought I would want to give a crack at, but I just knew I would fail. The rules of 75 hard are follow a diet, can be any diet as long as it's like relatively healthy, complete two 45 minute workouts every single day, one of which has to be outside, rain or shine. Third is take a progress picture. Fourth rule is to drink a gallon of water or three liters. And then the fifth rule is to read 10 pages of a non-fictional book. Audio books don't count and it has to be a physical book. That completely forgot to mention as well that for 75 hard there is no alcohol whatsoever. 75 hard is not described as a weight loss program it's described as a transformative mental toughness challenge and as the title indicates it's hard. After doing a lot of research in the 75 hard knowing in the back of my mind that I would never be able to finish this I saw that roughly only 5% of people who take on 75 hard actually complete it so I just knew for a fact that this wasn't for me. So what's the difference between 75 hard and 75 soft? I saw an audio on TikTok TikTok, which stated that 75 soft was like 75 hard but for people who don't have time to do two 45 minute workouts a day however I kind of interpret it a little bit different I think that 75 soft although I am following the rules is also a mental toughness challenge but it's more realistic and you're more likely to complete it but it is still tough for me I think it would help me build healthier habits and it's just a bit of a challenge that I want to have a go at I will be documenting this on a weekly basis so the rules of 75 soft are as follows you read 10 pages of any book can be fiction or non-fiction one 45 minute workout every day for 75 days but you can have one active rest day which can include something like a walk or yoga or something that's not so intense. In terms of food it states to just eat well and you can have one cheat meal per week and then part of the challenge is also that you drink three litres or one gallon of water a day. And of course I forgot to mention that with 75 soft you can only drink on social occasions. So if you're not new to my channel then you'll know that I have gained and lost weight and been the dictionary definition of a yo-yo dieter, I wanna say for the last 10 to 15 years of my life. I've spent a lot of time over the last year and a half to two years really building up my self-confidence, my self-love, and my mental health is the best it's been in a very, very long time. So why on earth would I set myself a challenge like this? I feel like my outlook on this challenge is a lot different now than what it would have been two years ago. I'm not seeing this as a weight loss challenge. If it brings me weight loss results, fine. But I'm seeing this as a, a wellness challenge, a habit creator, and I'm just generally using it to try and improve my quality of life. I think taking that pressure away from like, I must be losing weight every week is kind of what will probably help me a lot on the way for this. So if I'd seen this just as a weight loss challenge, then I probably would not have succeeded. I would have gone to the extremes. But now because I've taken that pressure away, I'm just seeing it as just taking small steps every day to improve my life. In terms of the eating so obviously the rule is just to eat well so that could mean absolutely anything it doesn't specifically say that you have to follow a diet like 75 hard does and I think as well what's great about it is the fact that you can adapt it or make it your own completely you can do whatever you want in terms of what you're eating and whatever but what I'm going to be doing personally is not necessarily what you or anybody else has to do in terms of the eating, I have decided for the first week or so, I am not going to track calories as such, but I'm gonna make healthier choices. I feel like all this experience with yo-yo dieting, diet clubs, calorie counting, all these things that I've tried in the past, I know what is good for me and what isn't so good for me. I know what's healthy, I know what's unhealthy. So I think that making better choices throughout these 75 days will help me get the results that I'm hoping to see. So in terms of updates and results, I am not going to be revealing any weight loss or anything like that result until the very end and I'm not gonna be discussing my weight now, I'm not gonna be discussing my weight at the end, but I will tell you if any, how much weight I've lost, 
and generally kind of like a recap of the 75 days if I make it to the end and see how it's changed my life hopefully. In terms of the exercise I'm hoping to get to some exercise classes at my gym um, I do a lot of strength training now. I feel like going to the gym and the exercise side of things probably won't be too difficult because I do go to the gym quite a lot already, but I mainly do strength training. I do want to introduce little bits of cardio though, so I will be going to some classes and just seeing how that goes. So I hope that you enjoy this series. Um, like I say, I will be uploading on a weekly basis, letting you know what I'm eating, what exercise I'm doing, how it's going, what I'm finding out, just generally how it goes on a weekly vlog style of video. I hope that you enjoy it. If you want to join along with me or you're encouraged to start it then please let me know in the comments and we'll egg each other on. I don't want to say this as a fitness or weight loss challenge like I said before. I just I just want to see whether this improves my quality of life. I feel like I've said all this before but you, you get the gist. There's not going to be pressure for me to be losing weight. There's not going to be pressure for me to I don't know, look a certain way by the end because I feel like when I set those types of goals, that's when I fail. So let's see how this goes and I'll see you on day one. Okay, day one of 75 soft for breakfast. I've just got two Weetabix with some milk. Um, I have weighed the milk out and I'm gonna put it on my fitness pal and I've just got myself a coffee which I made in my coffee machine but then I added my own milk um, rather than using the frothy milk. Don't know why, doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm having for my breakfast on day one. I would usually have this with like banana or something, but I've run out of fruit. So yeah, plain old soggy Weetabix it is. <laughs> I've got my first litre of water. Not gonna lie, I don't drink just water that much. Um, I mean, I do, I do and I don't, but like I am very much a squash kind of um, diluted juice kind of gal. And I'm gonna try and cut that out. I'm kind of, I'm just, my three liters for the day are gonna be water and only water. It's not gonna be juice. So, and it's coffee's not included either. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my way through it. I got this from Amazon. I actually really like it. I've had it for ages. Um, it's got a little like lock thing and then you push the, you know. It's just, it's just a water bottle. It's not nothing too exciting, but so that is my first bottle of water. It's currently like half 11. I feel like I should be cracking on with this because that, that's all I've drank today so far. <laughs> oh God. So I'm kind of deciding between two different books for my 10 pages a day part of this challenge. And the first one is a very stereotypical Atomic Habits. <laughs> I feel like everybody who does these challenges always reads Atomic Habits. I have started this before. I'm trying to work out where I got up to. Oh, I got up to, I, I got like halfway through. Why didn't I finish this? But I can't remember anything in it. <laughs> so I feel like when I was reading this, I wasn't really digesting it very much. So I feel like this would be a good one uh, to read over the next like 75 days. I mean, it's not long enough, is it, to last the full 75 days? No. But the other book is this one, which is The Book of You. I feel like, I mean, it says, it's daily micro actions for a healthier, happier you. And I have not read this at all before. I don't really know why I have it. I feel like I could probably went through like a, I want to improve myself phase and buy books and stuff. And I just never started it. The only thing with this is that I kind of feel like I probably would be cheating because it's like a, those are the pages. So it's got stuff like, thank a person who makes you happy. Let's get physical, take a moment. It's almost like a to-do book. It's almost like a giant to-do list, to be honest. I don't really know whether this is something that I really want to do as my 10 pages. I don't, mm, yeah, I'm not feeling it. So I feel like I'm gonna start with Atomic Habits. Once I've finished this, because I will finish it in within the 75 days, like in that time, I can look for another book to read. Yeah, if you've got any recommendations, let me know because obviously this is just the first week. Um, so yeah, if you've got any recommendations for books similar to this kind of vibe, like almost like building good habits slash self-help kind of vibey books, then let me know what you think in um, would be a good one to read in the comments. So this is my 75 soft challenge checklist 
Um, so essentially I've got 75 days here that I'm gonna blot off every single day that I've done and it just keeps you like on track with what you're doing so it's got follow a diet or meal plan one cheap meal per week and reduced alcohol daily 45 minute workout a gallon of water or three liters read 10 pages and take a pro pro uh, progress photo I don't think this is actually because this isn't like the official 75 ch self challenge there's loads of like variations on the rules and stuff but um yeah I think this one I'm gonna try but I don't know if I'll actually get like a daily progress photo if you know what I mean um but I will try and do that I'm, I'm gonna say now that I'm hoping to not really have cheat meals as such but I'm hoping that the way that I'm gonna do my diet is that I won't really feel like I need cheat meals I'm kind of gonna so the way I'm planning on doing my diet is that I'm I'm not gonna restrict myself which I think is very very important especially for something like this because with this all or nothing mentality that I've previously had when it comes to weight loss it's always been how I've ended up failing is because I've restricted myself so much that I end up just going off the rails and completely like ruining it all so I don't know I feel like I'm hoping that with what I'm eating I'm not going to need like a cheap meal or like a cheat day or anything like that but one thing I will say is that tonight it's actually my parents joint birthday party um we're not doing anything well we've, we've actually we're planning on going out for afternoon tea in a couple of weeks time but we're getting together as a family and um we're just gonna have a home cooked a home cooked meal and there's also a birthday cake so I guess you could probably say that if I have the birthday cake then that would be a cheap meal so it still falls under the under the rules so yeah that is what I'm using you can get these like all over like Etsy and I think Amazon do like little books and things or whatever you think will help you stay on track so with that being on my fridge I can just go at the end of the day each day and like just make sure I've done everything you know so it's just gone nearly two o'clock and this is what I'm having for my lunch so it's basically just some baby leaf salad with some mushrooms tomatoes salmon and pesto and I've also because you get two salmon fillets in a pack I've just cooked both of them and boxed this one up and I'll just have that one tomorrow um and then I'll just add the pesto like tomorrow when I have it for my lunch but uh yeah, I actually haven't had this in ages. I used to eat this loads. It was like my go-to salad. Does she notice? Well, I'm back from my parents' birthday now and I'm not gonna lie, it feels as though I failed already at this on day one. But because you're allowed a cheat meal, and I was saying that I'm gonna try not to, but that class is my one cheat meal for the week. So yeah, I'm gonna, cause I've got nothing else on this week, like plans and stuff. And I guess that's what I kind of like about this, the 75 soft challenge is that on the 75 hard challenge, I wouldn't have been able to eat what I've just eaten at my parents. So I guess I'm grateful for the fact that I can have a cheat meal but I am just gonna let that settle for a bit and then I'm actually gonna head to the gym and um, to get my 45 minute workout in for today um I will be meeting up with my boyfriend and we'll be going together I'm just gonna do like a um I'm gonna do a leg day maybe I'll figure out what I want to do when I get there but I am planning on doing like classes as well I've got a class tomorrow morning just because I want to I want to kind of mix it up with like not just gym sessions as in like strength training but I also want to get some cardio in there um which is like the classes and stuff because I really enjoy those so yeah <laughs> so yeah I think I'll be going to the gym well so that is my 45 minute exercise done for the day um very happy ish with day one i don't know what it was i kind of felt like i had failed this challenge on the very first day and it's it, i'm trying to i'm trying to make sure that I've, i'm trying to keep in the mentality that i do have one cheat day it just so happens that i've used it on the first day and it's not like i don't know it's not like i've just like ordered a takeaway or anything it's just like i've like I've gone to my parents for their birthdays so uh, yeah <laughs> but anyway um so yeah end of day one let's see what tomorrow brings good morning it is day two and I've just finished a scoop of AG1 
I haven't eaten anything yet. I haven't had any coffee. How nice is this lighting, by the way? The, anyway. Um, yeah, I haven't had anything to eat just because I'm going pretty much straight away to a body combat class. I've done this class before once and um, it's not easy, I'm not gonna lie. But I am looking forward to getting this workout just done and out the way. Um, so yeah, let's get this body combat class done and then I'll finish my 45 minutes exercise for the day and we'll have some breakfast when I get home. To be honest, I'm still feeling like almost, I think, I'm not going to say I still feel full, but I still feel like a little bit bloated from last night's meal. So like I'm not too, I'm not like hungry or anything. So I think it'll just be nice to get my body moving and yeah, crack on with the day. Right, I'm back from the gym and stuff. I've actually been to the allotment that I have as well and just been down there for like an hour or so um, and I've come back. I've not actually had any breakfast this morning, but like I said this morning, I'm, I'm not feeling too hungry after yesterday's meal um, and it's now like 20 to one. So I'm just gonna have my leftover salmon and pesto salad that I had from yesterday. I'm just gonna put some pesto on it and have that. And then I might end up having, I think I've got like a, hang on, do I have, yeah. I've got a chocolate protein pudding, which I'll have as well. And that'll kind of like subsidize the breakfast as well. So yeah. Okay, so just to show you what I've done with my little sheet. So I've, t I've blotted off the things that I did yesterday on day one. And I've also just blotted off the rest of the cheat meal um, one sheet meal per week days because I've already have it had it and I've put that in green to say that I've already done it so then I know each week when I've had it and when it was etc so it's a little bit later on and I am making some bolognese for tea with some rice this I'm not gonna lie absolutely winging this I've got no idea but it's actually turkey mince that I'm using in it um, just because I don't know it's it's better than beef mince isn't it for like health <laughs> one awful way to explain it but like turkey mince is like so full of protein and it's just got a lot less fat and stuff so yeah i'm using that in it this is for i think maybe well we could probably get three portions out of this but basically i've just got the turkey mince a tin of chopped tomatoes some chicken stock and some bolognese seasoning which i've used which is this one i'll pop i'll pop a code on screen that you can use to get 20 percent off um i actually swear by jd seasonings i don't know like if you can see i've got all these ones <laughs> so like anything that i'm making roast potatoes cajun chi my cajun chicken i use this all the time chili con carne i probably should have used that and this well hindsight is a great thing um heat uh chicken rub all sorts so i love that company like swear by it i've used them for quite a few years now um but yeah so this is the so this is the turkey bolognese and then i've just got the rice on as well i've also just finished my second bottle of water i've got one more to go let me tell you nobody warns you that as soon as you start drinking i thought i drank quite a lot during the day you know I actually did until somebody told me until this challenge where you have to drink three liters a day which is three of these bottles and let me tell you I there's a reason why I'm sticking to my diet and that's because I've got no time to eat because I'm spending the whole time peeing after these so yeah <laughs> and there is my turkey mint bolognese with rice I've just made some for my boyfriend as well um but yeah that is what I'm having for my dinner hello <laughs> it is day three. I know I look a little bit dishevelled. I feel a little bit dishevelled, to be honest. This morning, I've already had my AG1 drink and I've also had a coffee um, and I'm going to have some breakfast soon. Maybe it's 20 past eight. Maybe if I aim to have breakfast at like nine. I've got a class this morning that I'm going to, which is the step class. I've been to this one before. Like, I enjoy it, but like, whatever that instructor's doing... And it's not what I'm doing. I, do, oh, I can't keep up. But basically, it, it is so much fun. So I'm going to go to that. To be honest, I feel quite tired. Like, I I don't know. I could very easily give this one a miss if, like, I wasn't doing this challenge. If I was just, like, doing it for the sake of it, then, like, I could, I would probably not go this morning. Are you coming with me, Billy? <coughs> no, he doesn't want to. Okay, then. Um... <laughs> So yeah, do I wait to have breakfast? No, because then it'll be too late. I'm gonna have breakfast first. 
Sensible choices, Jess. Sensible choices. Okay, so this is breakfast. Now, I know that I probably would have been better with brown bread. However, this is just what I've got in the house. Yeah, so this is like the Harvest soft white bread. Um, it's not too bad actually, but yeah, I got some avocado and two hard boiled eggs on there. <sighs> right, I'm back from my step class. I've Well, I've been back from my step class for about half, half an hour and I'm still red. <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered, but I really enjoyed that. I think people really underestimate step because I don't know, I, I didn't think it would be as hard work as it is, but I, can't, I think I found that even harder than body combat. I don't know why, just, yeah, but it feels good. Um, just having some lunch now, because it's like nearly one o'clock. Um, this is basically, so we've got jollof rice and N Nigerian fried rice. Basically, we batch cooked both of these um, earlier on in the week, and there was just like a little bit left of each one. So just out of context, it's quite a small bowl, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have that for lunch because that is all I've got left. I've actually got a little bit of an addiction to watermelon at the minute. So this, it is absolutely lovely outside. So I'm gonna go and sit outside with my watermelon and I'm gonna read my 10 pages of Atomic Habits for today. I do have my water somewhere as well. I feel like I'm getting through this like really quickly. Not this, the, um, the water. Um, just today, just because I had a bottle before I went to my class and then I pretty much had a bottle at my class and I'm nearly through the third litre already and it's only three o'clock. So I'm doing well on that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to sit outside. Oh, I'm just going to sit outside in the sun, enjoy my watermelon and read my pages. And for my tea tonight, I'm just having some Cajun chicken pasta. This is like a staple in my house. A bit of a batch cook because there's more than one portion here, obviously. Um, this will serve about four portions, so I'm going to have some of this for my tea and then box up the rest for another day. I'll leave a link in the description to my website with a bunch of recipes on it. Um, this is one of them, and honestly, this is like one of the elite recipes. I absolutely love this one. I have it on a regular, even before this challenge, so... <sighs> Day... Four? I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going straight for a Zumba class this morning. I feel okay. It's like 22 degrees outside. So these workouts are going to get harder and harder the hotter it gets. We've just got to push through, you know? <sighs> I'm going, yeah, I've got Zumba on this morning. My boyfriend is coming with me. Um, not to Zumba, he's doing his own workout and then I'm doing the class and then I think I'll eat when I get home. Just made myself a quick protein shake after the gym. Don't mind me, I am in a bikini. I'm gonna be going in sunbathing this afternoon. I've left my fridge door open. Don't miss me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have my protein shake and then I'm gonna go and sunbathe for the afternoon, I think. And um, I'm gonna read my 10 pages whilst I'm outside as well. Just passes the time, you know? This protein shake is literally 250 mils of milk, a scoop of vanilla protein. This is the one I'm using. I just got this from Asda, but you can get it from most places. And then about 100 grams of strawberries. Just blend it together. Sometimes I'll put ice in. I forgot today, so there's no ice, but still nice. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> I've been sunbathing pretty much all afternoon, but I'm having a very late lunch. It's half past four, and I've gone for, let me show you. We've got some chicken sausages there. This is half of an avocado and a bagel thin, which I got from Aldi. These ones that I've gone for, the deli style ones. Um, so yeah, I'll probably, to be fair, I'll probably just assemble this all in the bagel and then just like eat it as a sandwich. Okay, it's later on. It's actually like nine o'clock, but um, I haven't been feeling too hungry because I had my lunch quite late on, but I'm feeling a omelette with some veg in, so I'm gonna have that for my tea. and this morning I've already had my breakfast I'll show you quickly what I did have accompanied by Billy um so I had what did I have I completely forgot now oh yeah I had some protein yogurt with um 
some protein yogurt with some strawberries on it but i did include some flavor drops from my protein now i'm, I'm not really a fan of um greek yogurt or plain yogurt i just find it a bit like tangy a bit like i don't know a bit sour so i add the flavor drops in and honestly it's a game changer if you haven't tried it i would highly recommend um so i had that for breakfast and i'm about to have some lunch I'm fancying some like a tuna wrap also for my exercise for the day i am going to zumba tonight i did go to zumba yesterday but they've got another class on tonight at 6 30 and i've convinced my friend demi to come along with me i think i feel like she likes zumba and stuff like that so she's gonna come along with me i've also just finished or i'm about to finish my first bottle of water let me tell you things i've learned already oh billy your tail's in the way things i've learned already <laughs> Things I've learned already from this challenge is one, you pee all the time. All the time I am on the toilet peeing because of these water bottles. And two, I, I only wear activewear. <laughs> like I put some washing out yesterday and the whole line was gym leggings and sports bras and t-shirts that I'd worn to the gym. So yeah, <laughs> and I only realized that when, when I went to Zumba yesterday and I was like, oh, I've only got one sports bra left. So yeah, peeing all the time and only wearing activewear. 99% of the time. Um, I am a little bit sunburned from yesterday, but let's just ignore that. Let's just ignore that. But yes, I'm gonna make some lunch. I'll show you it once I've made it. There is my tuna wrap. I've like squashed it. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but. Mm. Tuna mayo wraps are so underrated. They're so good. I don't need these enough. Oh, I just finished Zumba. Hi. <laughs> Tell me, what did you think? It was different. I'm a little bit annoyed. I mean, it was still good, but I'm still, I'm still like sweating like anything, yeah. but it was a different instructor. I just wasn't feeling the energy from her. Mm. Um, it was a little, I don't know, she just had a bit more like involvement. Okay. Whereas like, it was just kind of quiet. And but, then, yeah, because like, the Zumba I've been in before, the teacher like shouts at you, and, yeah. like, tells you like what to do, but yeah. I don't know did. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but either way. Um, it was good yeah. though. I yeah. still enjoyed I'm it. I'm still sweating. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, are you going to come back? Yes, I'm going to come for step for you. Yes, just coming to step on Thursday, but I'm going to go home and make some tea because I am absolutely starving now. I know, I'm going to go outside and eat baby food. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. <laughs> back from the gym now and I'm just making some tea. So I've actually found a recipe on TikTok. I've got a very love-hate relationship with TikTok, but it is great for finding recipes if you like want to try something new. So I'm trying a one pot cheesy taco rice, which should look a little something like that. We'll see whether it does or not. Um, but I'm doing that and I'm also just like pre-cooking some chicken um, just to add to like meals, whatever I have. So this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. So dished it up. Doesn't look too bad. Let's give it a little taste. Mm. Quite nice actually. I like that. I think I'll have that again actually. after the catnip yep <laughs> good morning so day five i feel really good you know i don't know what i feel like it's too early to really judge but i feel like i've got this whole habit thing like sorted i, d I just i don't know what switched in my mind but like, I kind of feel like this is just my everyday routine now, like, and I can't not do what I'm doing. So like, I mean, like I say, things might change in a few days or when I am um, during my period or whatever. But like, so at the minute I'm wanting to eat healthy and uh, going to the gym is something that I'm quite enjoying at the minute. The one thing that I'm actually struggling with, well, I'm not struggling per se, because I'm still doing it, but getting the motivation to read my 10 pages, which is not the thing that I thought I would like find difficult. But as somebody who doesn't really read books, like I, I, I can read obviously, but like to pick up a book and dedicate like a certain amount of time to that, I've, I've just never really done that unless I've been like on holiday, I can read like a full book in three days. But like finding even just 10 15 minutes to read 10 pages i'm like oh i'll do that later i'll do that later and i do do it but like i just 
I don't know. It's just not something that I'm enjoying as such. I Don't get me wrong, the book itself is fine. I have read like half of it before. I don't know, I'm just not like a, I'm just not a reader. It's just not my thing. So I think when this like 75 days is over, I feel like I could probably keep up the majority of the habits that I'm doing, but I, I don't feel like I would pick another book up, if I'm honest. But like I say, it's only day five. That doesn't doesn't mean that that's gonna be what happens. It might be that at the end of this challenge, I end up like loving it um, and becoming a full-blown non-fictional reader. Who knows? But anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, I've got a body combat class on this morning. It's the Les Mills one again. I'm this is so I found I think three classes that I really enjoy at the gym. The first one is body combat. The second is Zumba, and the third is step like step aerobics. And those three classes, I feel like are really helping me stick to this because they're, I'm getting a decent amount of cardio in, they're fun. And then on the other days, I'm just doing like weight training. So like I've kind of got a good mix between weight training and cardio because although weight training's very like, it helps with like the like toning and the shape of your body. Like I, f I feel like before starting this challenge, I was, doing just weight training and very little cardio and I noticed a huge difference in like my body composition and that's something that I never really like yes I lost weight when I used to do cardio like many times before like I would just kind of lose weight but I wouldn't really have any definition or like any curves or stuff it would just be like I don't know so I'm keen to keep up my strength training as well because I find that that is kind of giving me the body that I that I want. So yeah, I've got a good combination between cardio and strength training and I'm really happy with that. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the gym now, it's 10 to 10. Actually, I'm gonna head in like 10 minutes because I don't wanna be too early. Um, and I'll catch up with you after my body combat class. Combat class done. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still sweating and I still feel like I've done like a really good workout, but like I didn't find that as difficult. I feel like I'm like making too many assumptions in my first week, but I can I feel like I'm already seeing improvements in like my general cardio fitness. Um I think because I've done majority cardio. I don't know. I've I just found that class a little bit easier. It was a different routine and a different instructor, so that might have had a large influence on it, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna head home. I'm halfway through my first bottle of water. Um go home. I'm gonna go home, have a shower, and I might sit in the garden and do my reading. So back now, and I've just made myself a protein shake. So I usually put um my vanilla protein in with some strawberries, but I think I've got about two strawberries left. So I decided to put a banana in this time. I've got to say, it's top notch. It's a little bit like a banana milkshake from McDonald's. I know that sometimes people say these things, they're like, oh, it's oh, it's just like a real Chinese takeaway, it's, and it never is. But uh, yeah, this one actually does taste really, taste really nice. Again, I forgot to put ice in it. What can you do? It's done now. I'm just having my lunch, and I've gone for a fish finger and lettuce wrap. I haven't had fish fingers in, I couldn't even tell you how long. But how elite does that look? Oh, let's have a try. Mmm. It's hot. <laughs> Excuse me for speaking with my mouth full, but it was very hot. <laughs> um, so I've got fish fingers, some lettuce, and then a little bit of light mayo on. Oh, delicious. And then I've just got a little bit of water left. This is my second bottle for today. Um, and then I'll fill it up to get again for my third litre. It's only quarter to two. I'm doing well on the water, I'm not gonna lie. I found it really difficult on like day one, but it's getting easier, it's getting easier. So I've just made myself some tea and it's looking pretty good. So this is fajita pasta. Usually I use a different style of pasta for this, um, but this is kind of, I didn't have enough penny, so I ended up using tagliatelle, but yeah, it's a fajita style pasta. I just need to add chicken on because, like I say, I batch cooked some chicken, like pre-cooked it the other day. So I'm just going to add one of those on to this. And then that is what I'm having for my evening meal. Right, day seven. So, like, this is the last day of the first week. I've just realised. Day seven, yeah. And I'm here with Demi, my friend. Hi. We've just come out for like a brunch slash breakfast. Um, and I've gone for this which is a chicken shawarma we've come to a place called eat clean where everything is just 
healthy. Yeah. It's just healthy and delicious. It's so good. So I've actually ate here before and it is real good food. Yeah. So, and you've gone, I keep forgetting what you've got. The vegan bagel. The vegan bagel. Yeah. It looks <laughs> But that is my breakfast slash lunch for today. So I'm currently sat in Aldi car park. I was on my way to my step class. I got a text from Demi saying that she couldn't come because she had some work on um, and she's going to go to a later class, which is fine. But I was sat in traffic on the way to the gym. I was just thinking about how I was telling my boyfriend last night how I was so tired it then dawned on me that i have done nothing but cardio this week i obviously said at the start and maybe like halfway through the week i can't remember when about how i was looking forward to starting to incorporate some cardio alongside my strength training and the first week that i've done this challenge i have done nothing but cardio so no wonder i'm tired so that's the first thing. And second of all, I have not taken an active rest day this week. And so I'm thinking my boyfriend was planning on coming to the gym tonight. So I might drop him at the gym and there's like a nature reserve not far from the gym. So I might drop him there and then just go for a walk just to have my active rest day because I can tell that I need it. I was literally sat in the car driving there and I was like, I'm so tired. Like I feel quite drained. Like I knew that I would enjoy the class, but I wasn't looking forward to it the way that I've been looking forward to other classes. So it makes sense to have my active rest day today. I think I just didn't realize, I don't know how, but I just didn't realize that I had not taken a day off. Like, I knew I hadn't, don't get me wrong, I knew I hadn't taken a day off, but I, I hadn't realised that, like, it's, like, I haven't taken an active rest day, and I can tell now that I need it, so, yeah, I'm going to take my active rest day, I feel, I feel a little bit re more refreshed tomorrow, because I do feel like if I don't take these active rest days, that will probably make me fail this challenge because I'll get too overworked I'll get drained and I'll end up feeling like I can't do anymore okay I'm about to have my tea I haven't actually heated up yet but I can't tell you actually too much about this one because my boyfriend made it <laughs> um so this is turkey and then this is basically like fried spaghetti he made like a Nigerian fried rice last week which was really really nice and he wanted to try and do the same thing but do it with spaghetti instead and I tasted like I had a little one strand of it last night and it does does taste quite nice but he made it with like very very minimal oil so so he used one of the um he used some spray oil to make it so it's not like high in oil or anything like that but that is what it looks like oh so excited it's cold I need to heat it up <laughs> just reading my 10 pages for today. What am I up to now? I'm up to here. So I've read all this in a week. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You all right? You can't help me with my pages. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, I've read, I've read all this in a week. So this book is definitely not going to last me the full 75 days. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that concludes my first week, I guess, or first seven days of 75 Soft. I've got to say, I've been quite enjoying it. I know this, this seems like the first week of something is always probably the easiest. Keeping it up as a habit for the next God only knows how long is going to be so, so difficult. But I'm feeling positive and I feel like the first week has gone very, very well. I think I'm about to start the second week. Um, so I thought I'd round this video off just by kind of saying, just by kind of letting you know that like, if anything, I feel a lot better within myself. I don't really know. I mean, yes, I'm tired. Don't get me wrong because of what I said yesterday in regards to the gym and stuff. It's all a learning curve. So I'm hoping that in the weeks to come that I'll learn my balance between cardio and strength training and not overdo it. I think I just got a bit carried away with wanting to do the classes all the time, like, because I enjoyed them. Um, so I was like, I want to do this class every single day till the end of time, which obviously isn't the healthy way to do it. But yeah, so I am going to end this vlog here. There will be another vlog next week, next Sunday with my week two. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Like I say, if you're joining in or if you've done something like this before, let me know in the comments and we'll just egg each other on um but i hope you've enjoyed this if you have please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye guys